God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I made a post today on Instagram and the Holy Spirit was like, Robin, put this message on YouTube. I have different people on different platforms. So I'm more than sure there's a reason why God wanted me to transfer this message from here to there. So with that being said, well, from there to here, excuse me. Um, I found this post from a, a lady, I think her name is Abio Creations. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name correctly, but I shared her meme on my Instagram and it read, stop settling for things that do not look like your prayers. And for some reason, y'all, when I read that, it just made me think about, I'm scrolling on my, my, my timeline, y'all. And I just see so many girls just like broken hearted about not having a Valentine. And oh, I'm like, oh my God. Like, okay, sis. It just kind of frustrated me because I don't think we realize when we are waiting so long, we want the perfect person. And we, and a lot of us, God already showed us it was going to happen. You know, it's, it's all of these things. And y'all, if you know, you know, I don't even post about this type of stuff on my page. I don't even mess with it. So I'm saying this to you, this ain't no kingdom spouse message. This ain't no mat. No, this is stop settling for things that do not look like your prayers. That is what this message is, period. Now, I personally think you can apply that to multiple areas of your life, but I am going to read to you what I said, and that is what I want you to remember. Before I start, please go to unwiredtoinspire.com and click the first link. If you are in Atlanta and you are a young woman 25 and up, please come to my event. It is going to be awesome. We have light bites, mocktails, all types of conversation about being women of power, being women who are either uh, working on their careers, you have a calling, you have a purpose on your life. We really, really want to talk about that. I have some powerful, powerful panelists who are really going to give the tea and break down what it's like to fear not, how you navigate through that place in your life, through through those dreams and those goals, when you start to feel like you want to give up. I am talking from that space and these women will blow your mind. I also have a special guest and she will talk about bending and not breaking. So if that is of interest to you and you are in the Atlanta area, March 1st, 2024, please go to unwiredtoinspire.com and check it out. And it's free, y'all. I don't, I don't, I'm going to say it on my YouTube video. So if you catch it, you catch it, but you have to sign up. You, you cannot enter the room without your ID and being already pre-listed and vetted on the invitation list. Okay. So take care of that. Um, after you listen to this video, if you are there, um, I mean, if you want to come, we would love to have you. Okay. Let's get to the message. This is what I wrote. A message to my peeps who are feeling some type of way today. Here's my gift of love to you. When you see yourself the way God does, you get the perfect combination of humility and confidence. You see, everyone can't handle standards, especially high ones. Don't edit them. Edit who you associate with. You're moving like God's child, not the devil's friend. Remember the real rise. The unevolved, blocking, unblocking, blocking, not thoughtful, emotionally unintelligent, lacking accountability and reflection types, those types, they settle. You lack nothing. You want love with ease and vulnerability, not inconsistency and uneasiness. You see, you reign supreme in your story and you only have room for someone who also reigns supreme in theirs. So coming together is organic, not rushed. It's a natural vibe. Don't get in your feelings looking for a manufactured version of that because of today. Just because everybody is saying it's a day of love and it's Valentine's Day. I'm going to say it again. Don't get in your feelings looking for a manufactured version of that because today is air quote Valentine's Day. Remember y'all, in this case, especially feelings are not facts. And it's something that will be fleeting. That's why it's super important that you learn to love yourself at your core every day. Not just on one day that people deem a day of love. When we know God is love, so it's ever present and consistent and it should never stop and it should never go away. And it should consistently always be celebrated. Now let me wrap this up for y'all. Lastly, 
Do not think so low of God that you think the best he can do is give you someone that treats you like an afterthought. Sweetheart, you're golden. The only thing that you pay a person that can't see your shine and bask in it is dust. Goodbye. There's nothing that they can do for you. You can't pay them attention and you cannot pay them with your time. Let them go with the dust in the wind and you keep it moving. Because that's the best you can do for them. You have no bandwidth for that. You cannot even entertain that. You are not crying because you miss them and you're thinking about what if and wishing and all. No, 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 no. Again, you do not think so low of God that where you are right now is the very best he can do. He loves you. And if God wanted something to be another way, he would make it that way. And remember, there's a saying my mentor would say to me all the time. She'd say, everything is as it should be. Everything is as it should be, even when it may not feel like it. If you know, this is for the people who know you've been doing right, who know you've been doing the things of God. This is only for you that I'm speaking to now. This is for you. You know you inside of the will of God, but it might just feel like it sucks right now because it's not what you thought it would be. God is with you. And y'all, this is a unisex message, right? So if you do celebrate Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Valentine's Day, and most importantly, Happy God Day, which is every day because God is love and you will always have it. It is you, it becomes you, and it's your very essence and you're never lacking, you're never without it. Please share this with someone who needs to be reminded of how incredible and worth it they are because it matters and it is important that we all know this. And you know, I was about to wrap up, but I do want to say one more thing. You are not a robot. So I don't necessarily subscribe to people who try to diminish those who desire romantic love. There is absolutely nothing wrong with having romantic love. Just because you desire someone to share your time with, that does not mean your self-esteem is low. That does not mean you need to go open up 20 more businesses or work all this extra overtime and get 40 more degrees. No, it is biblical. Let me throw some Bible in here for y'all right quick, just so I can let the people know that we're not just out here dropping memes. We're actually out here making memes and dropping memes that make sense. It is biblical. This is just to let, I just want somebody to rest their soul who is feeling guilty and somebody's in the air yet because you need to be doing this. No, you don't. I'm just going to address this on today because it's a day of romance and it's a day where people kind of feel more lonely than they would on a regular day. Okay. Genesis 2.18 says, then the Lord God said, not human beings, let's run that back. Then the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. So many of you are just feeling the natural God-given desire of the human condition. There is nothing wrong with you. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with you longing to be loved on and hugged on and kissed and, 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 and in your feelings and, and, and sharing your time with another person with your person, with the, with the man or woman that God has chosen for you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I just wanted to make sure I said that because many people get it twisted. And although there are very well-meaning Christians out there, you, you really kind of jumble that up and you try to get people to, to when, when you least expect it. Not true. I know so many people who got their man when they were expecting it. That's not everybody's story. You know what they say is going to happen when they least expect it. Maybe it's not. Stop. Putting God in the box. Stop it. He does not belong there. Okay? That are, that are pre, those are preconceived notions that we put into play because someone else has tried to dictate how they think God is going to show up for you. Y'all, I will go on and on. Let me wrap this up. I just want you to know you are loved, you are cared for, and there is nothing wrong with you wanting love and romance. The only time it becomes wrong is when it becomes your idol and you are obsessed with it and you are more focused on making things happen and you are more focused on accepting things that you know are beneath the standards that God has given you. And I want to make it very clear as I believe ABL Creation said, stop settling for things and I'm going to add and people that do not look like your prayers. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Rogue.
God hits.